We are here with San Angelo Police Chief Frank Carter. Chief, thank you for making the time. Thank you, sir. So not only is it February here in San Angelo, but it's also sort of election time. We have the race for police chief coming up. You leave some big shoes or some big boots to fill. What is it like being in San Angelo, the last municipality here, to have an election to choose who will be police chief? What is it like being on the campaign trail and True. describing to voters that you are the most qualified person to lead this department? Sure. And, you know, the last time I checked, probably the largest city compared to San Angelo that has an elected police chief was Berkeley, California. Um, there are still some small rural uh, police departments within the state of Texas that, that do elect the police chief. Um, there's three candidates vying for my position, and then I applaud each one of them. Uh, it's a very daunting task. It's very exhausting task, to say the least, and it takes a lot of courage to put yourself out there in front of the public and, and your family. Um, I wish, wish each of them well. Um, you got basically 90 days to reach 10 to 11,000 voters, and, and by the end of that time, you're extremely exhausted. Um, obviously, you know, the public and, and I are looking at, um, or when they looked at me, tenure on the department, the amount of time they've been a supervisor in the department, and, and various other things. What other, speaking about that, what other qualities kind of make a good police chief? Not only would you like someone with experience, but sure. A chief not only has to lead these brave men and women, but they also have to be able to, I guess, connect with residents. And sure. obviously on the campaign trail, there's promises, I guess, in terms of, yes, we want to maybe do this to help increase safety. Just what other kind of sure. qualities do you look I at? I mean, decision-making skills is, is certainly big. I mean, uh, looking at the platform and what their ideals are going to be in the future. Um, and, of course, tenure. I mean, there's a lot of things to consider there. When you look back at your time as chief, you first became chief in 2016. What kind of memories, what kind of thoughts kind of come back to mind? Um, horror stories. It was a rough time for me in 2016. Um, again, I know what these guys are fixing to go through. There's been a lot of good times and a lot of bad times. And uh, I've enjoyed uh, being in the position of police chief. I'm, I'm certainly going to miss it. I'm, I'm a term limits guy. And the day that I was um, elected, I knew that I was only going to do two terms and nothing more, and I think that's plenty in this position. Whichever of the three candidates makes it to your office, what are kind of your hopes and aspirations for them? Well, I'm going to wish each of them well. I'll be there to support any one of them that needs my help and assistance from this point forward. Just because that I'm leaving the organization doesn't mean that I'm going to forget about the police department or the citizens in San Angelo, Texas. So I'm going to be there to help and assist whichever way I can. I, I would like them to continue some of the goals and visions that I had in my administration was falling through with more manpower, competitive pay, and a new police department. What does the future hold for a one Frank Carter? It won't be politics. Um, I think I'm going to head to the coast with the wife and do some fishing and uh, maybe do some traveling around the country. Chief, anything I didn't ask you or bring up that you want to get across at all, sir? Well, I've enjoyed my time, like I said, as the police chief. It's been an honor to serve the citizens of San Angelo, and I thank everybody for your support. San Angelo Police Chief Frank Carter. Chief, thank you so much for a few moments. Thank you.